It really is one of the signature things about Westwood is all the stained glass that was in the house. And after, you know, freeze thaw cycles since 1890, and especially the massive hailstorm we had in Knoxville a couple years ago, the stained glass was in really terrible condition. And whether it had been smashed by hail or the leading had given uh, because of the temperature changes, it was really sagging, it was concave. And so we had state-of-the-art stained glass come out and they removed all of the windows a few months ago and taken them off-site where they're safe at their shop and they're putting them back together and it's going to be so wonderful to see them clean and intact and see the light and the sun shining through those windows again just as it did when Adelia first opened the house in 1890. The windows were in very bad shape. Every stained glass window has to be rebuilt Every, about every hundred years because the lead deteriorates over time and no longer structurally supports the weight of the windows. So what we did was we took the windows out, uh, crated them up, brought them back to the shop, took them out of their window frames and then laid them flat on a table and then covered the windows with the um, paper and then took what we call a rubbing stone and then traced over the top of the windows so we have a map or the design of the windows laid out um, on the on the paper. Then we go in and we make notes of all the broken pieces of glass and you can see in this window there are probably 30 plus broken pieces of glass um, in this window and we make any other additional notes as far as reinforcement bars and things like that and then we disassemble the window which is where we come in remove the lead from around the perimeter of each one of the pieces of glass and we put them into a box after individual pieces of glass are cleaned and repaired or replaced, the windows are assembled, leaded, and weather sealed by Parham and his team. And once the windows are sealed, then the lead is then we blacken the lead and get everything all cleaned up. And this is the original window from over the front door, which used to have a bow of about two inches in it. Overall, I probably replaced less than 1% of the pieces of glass. We still have a little bit of cleaning up left to do on the window, but, but it's come a long way from where it was a couple of months ago.